through basketball, I've met so many people and built so many relationships with great people over the last 21 years uh, as a coach. And uh, when you meet the right type of people that are special, that are caring, uh, you want to stay close with those types of people. And when you're a coach, you have X amount of time to try to work with your guys and get everything accomplished. We as coaches always want a little bit more time. Um, and, uh, and Division Two is a little bit different as far as working guys out and so forth. So the summer time, uh, you know, our guys go home and we really depend on them with their booklets that we give them to follow those and work extremely hard. Um, but it's also nice when you're a player, when you have somebody there to push you, who cares about you um, as a person, not only a player, but is driving you hard and what you're passionate about, you know, and our guys are very passionate about basketball. So, uh, you know, this year I did this, and uh, I mean this, uh, Warren, uh, over the last uh, uh, four years, uh, getting a chance to know you um, and uh, what you do for our guys is second to none, man. You work so hard with our guys, and uh, I know how much you love them. Uh, you uh, are on the roller coaster with them through their highs, through their lows, but what I have great appreciation for is you keeping them even keel about who they are, what's right, what's wrong, and uh, when you're a coach, you can't have enough people helping you with that to try to mold these young men in the right direction. So um, our coaching staff this year decided to uh, give uh, Warren, and Warren, if you could come up here, I want to give this to you. Thank you. Yeah, Pino. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, oh, great and great appreciation for outstanding emotional. service and dedication to the WJU basketball team. And uh, it's like having another assistant coach that uh, cares about you guys, loves you guys, and uh, I'm so proud that I had the opportunity to meet you and your passion for young men is exactly what I exactly what I want for our guys. So with this, if we give Warren a round of applause. And take it out. The coach to actually let me to allow me uh -huh. to come in and be a part of the family. Yeah. Uh, never question me, really. open his doors to me. I can call coach anytime. Asking for advice. It's been many a times over the last four years that I wanted to just call him and touch base, but I know he's a busy guy, so I never just call and say, "Hey, coach, you know, I, I gotta need some advice." Um, but whenever I did call, coach did, you know, ask the ball, mm. and um, I'm just happy to be able to be a part of something this this big. Yeah. 100 wins in uh, four years, and uh, being able to. Be with these crazy three guys right here. <laughs> this nut right here that's you know, all over the place sometimes. You know. you know, I just want to say thank you, man. Yeah. You know, thank you. I appreciate y'all. I look forward to working with some of you guys over the summer. And uh, if there's anything you all need or someone to talk to during the season, because I know it's a grind. It's a grind. The coach has on your nerves. He's crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> um, so if you need somebody just to talk to, man, any advice about the game or um, I've watched these guys' games all year long, man. And over the summer, I know what they what they need to work on. And that's what we work on over the summer. You know, um, I can look at each one of you guys and go, I know exactly what you need to work on. I just know. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you need to work on to be first team, all conference, be player of the year in four, in the next three years. I know. I watch you every day. This guy in the back, he's going to be a dog. <laughs> I know he needs to work on, man, to go to the next level. Um, and I'm going to leave it at this, um, being down in Portsmouth with this guy, you know, over the last week, and um, have a GM come up too, uh, or an agent come up too, and say, damn, dude, whatever you're doing, man, you keep doing it. Um, just because of the way this guy's panned out. And I can't take all the credit because, like Coach says, this guy stays in the gym, you know. 
I can only talk to him and get on his nerves when he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. Or when we're working out, he wants to argue with me about a drill. And, um, and just these two dudes gang up on me over the summer. We're gonna never do this, we're gonna never do that. And then, of course, in the game, the game comes, they're doing the damn move. <laughs> oh, dude, oh, okay, I didn't know what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but to hear the, you know, the NBA level guys come up to me and tell me that I'm doing a great job and to keep doing what I'm doing, um, that meant all and everything the world to me. And for Coach to give me this right here, man. No. This is my first crew, man. You deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it.